hey guys this is monique welcome to my channel thanks to everyone that subscribed and liked my videos so if you are joining for the first time kindly subscribe and like my videos thank you i'll be showing you how to draft this ruffle dress with armhole princess and cold shoulder sleeve i'll be drafting the front and the back together this is the front and this is the back I'm using the biggest part of the body to draft this block, which is the bust. Bust divided by 4 plus 3 inches for allowance. So the first measurement I'll be taking is the shoulder. So the shoulder is 15 divided by 2 will give me 7.5. I added half inch for same allowance. So this is the shoulder to waist measurement. So now I'll be taking my back shoulder. So the back shoulder is the same thing as the front. The next step is the neck. The neck width is 4 inches and the depth is 4 inches. So I'll just connect it. And for the back, the back and the front width is the same, which is 4 inches. And the depth I'm working here is 1 inch. So I'll connect it like so. So I'll come down by one inch from the shoulder, from where my shoulder measurement stops and I'll connect it to the neckline to give me my shoulder slope. I'll do the same for the front, come down by one inch, then connect it to the neckline. So after getting this, I'll be, get, I'll be taking my chest line which is 8 inches, so I'll just go ahead and connect it. Like so I'm connecting the front and the back together after getting that I'll the next step I'll take the shoulder measurements to the chest line I'll impute it in the chest line and I'll take a straight line to the chest line like so I'll do the same for the back 8 inches and I'll connect it now i'll be getting taking my armhole so to get my armhole i'll get the midpoint of this line i'm doing the same for the back then i'll come in by half an inch for the back then i'll take a straight line to that point then i'll shape my armhole then I'll, I'll do the same for the front. For the front, the I'll come in by 0 0.75. Then I'll take a straight line to that point and connect my armhole. So after getting this, the next measurement is my shoulder to bust point. And the measurement is 11 inches. I'm not taking shoulder to bust point on the back. What I'll be taking on the back is the shoulder to, to back half length. For the back because the front waist and the back waist is not the same so the back half length i'm working with here is 16 while the front is 17 inches so after getting that i'll be taking my boss pan measurement and i'll be taking it from the waistline and for this the boss pan is eight inches eight divided by two i added half an inch and i'm using 4.5 for my boss pan so i'll take a straight line from that boss point before then i'll come down by one inch then i'll take a straight line so for the front i'll be using one and a half to get my darts i'm taking 0 0.75 on on both sides that will give me 1.5 so i'll connect it to this point remember we came down by one inch from the boss point after getting that i'll be going for the back i'll be for the back, I'll start my measurement from this zip line. I'll still use 4.5, like so. Then I'll, I'll come down from the chest line. After getting my 4.5 here, I'll come down from my chest line by 2 inches. And I'll take a straight line from that point to the waist, to the back half length, like so. So for the back, the that I'll be working with is 1 inch. So I'm taking half inch on both sides. I'll just go ahead and connect it like this. So after getting my my darts, I'll be taking my shoulder, sorry, my um zip tightening, or should I say my back tightening? 
so for this measurement i'm using 0.75 for my back tightening so you can use either from half to one inch it depends it depends on how narrow the person's back is but for this i'm using 0.75 to tighten the zip so that it doesn't have a bulge when you fix your zip the next step i'll be taking is to draft my armhole armhole princess that so from the midpoint of the armhole i'll be connecting it to the boss point like this so i'll just take my pattern master and connect it to the boss point like this now i'll be taking another dart on the bust line here i'll be using it's i'll be using the difference between the front waist and the back waist and for this measurement the difference between the front waist and the back waist is one inch the back is 16 inches while the front is 17 inches now i'll be using the one inch on the side busts for the darts like this i'll come down by one inch from the bust like this Then I'll connect it to the boss point but I won't I won't connect it directly to the boss point I'll just come in by one inch from the boss point like this then I'll connect it to the side that I'm taking like this or to the one inch but after getting that I'll be taking my round measurement the bust circumference is 38 38 divided by 4 will be 9.5 i'll be adding half inch i'll be taking out from the armhole an extra one inch for seam allowance that will be 1.5 inches and on the waist i'll be using 7.5 plus this 1.5 for my dart so i'm adding this 1.5 plus extra one inch for seam allowance so that will give me 2.5 i'm using 2.5 for the seam allowance so i'll just connect the line after getting that i'll do the same for for the back the, the back is the same as the front which is 9.5 so i'll just add one inch for seam allowance and on the waist, I'll start the measurement from this zip line. So it's 7.5. Then I'll replace this 1.5. I'll be removing for uh, this one inch. I'll be removing for the dart, and I'll add extra one inch for seam allowance. So I'll just go ahead and connect it. So after getting that, I'll be reshaping the armhole there's a little dart that will be removing from the, that armhole point it will give the bust area ease so I'll, I'll come down by one inch from this midpoint i'll come down by one inch and from that one inch i'll go up by 1.5 like so the reason why i'm coming up by 1.5 is because if i use the exact measurement here the pattern will be short when I'm sewing it. That is why I came up by 1.5. So I'll use my pattern marker to connect it to the boss point. That's the new, the new dart I'll be taking. So I'm trying to get the point. So this dart, I'll be removing this other dart. So I'll now reshape my armhole. So this is my new armhole. I won't be using this other side. I'll, I'll just I'll be using this part. Then our pattern is complete. This is the skirt block I'll be using for the dress. It's a high waist skirt. I have a video for it already. So now I'll be cutting out my pattern. So I'll just go ahead and cut it out like so. So I'll be cutting 
this from the back half length so I'll be cutting out this side for the back tightening and I'll still use one inch to fix the zip so for the front I'll be closing this side that I'll be closing it like so so that it will align or it will tally with the back like this remember the back is shorter than the front so when I close that that it will align with the front like this as you can see so that's the reason why I'll close that that later on I'll be cutting from the center front first so I'll remove the dart like so and cut out the neck and the shoulder slope so this will be on a fold so I'll trim out the dart and this other extra dart so I'll use my masking tape to close this side dart so as you can see it's aligning with the center front if I had used this other one it would have been very short so that was why I came up by 1.5 earlier on so to make our ruffles we are going to connect like a curvy curvy shape from the hip point to the end of the hemline like so so the ruffles will be starting from the waist so i'll measure the waist to this point to get the ruffles i'll be cutting the pattern on the fabric so this is what i i did i cut it on the on a fold as the center front this is the side and for the back i've gone ahead to cut two of it so for the skirt for the um front skirt i'll just go ahead and connect my curve from this hip point i'll just go ahead and take the the curve i need i'll take it from here to the end of the hemline like so So the, the ruffle will start from the waist to the hemline so I'll do the same for the back but before then I'll just stitch it up after stitching this is what it will look like this is this part is for my zip so the, the waist to where the zip will stop is nine inches So I'll just pin it up before I cut out the cover I'll, I'll be using for the ruffles I'll I'll be making so I'll just pin it up like so so it doesn't disturb me so I'll place I'll be placing the front on the back like this to cut it out So it will look like this after cutting i'll still be using the this other parts i'll be fixing it on i'll be fixing it back later on i measured 32 inches from the waist to this curve to cut out my strip for the ruffles i'll be doing so i multiplied the the strip by 2.5 that is 32 times 2.5 to cut out the strip i'll be using to make my ruffles So I'll be fixing it from the waist. You can either gather it or pleat it. So I'll be fixing it after gathering it from the waist and curve it like so till I get to the end of the curve or to the end of the hemline. So I cut out two for the front and for the back. So the, the length I'll be working with for the strip is 9 inches. I'll be using 1 inch for seam allowance. That is for joining the, the ruffles to the, to the skirt. So I'll just go ahead and, and stitch it and show you. Remember, you'll be fixing it from the waist 
from the waist to the end of the cuff so let's do that now so I've gone ahead to fix the ruffles I gathered it and I fixed it from the waist to the end this is how it what is looking like now so this is the other side of it and this is the front so I fixed it from the waist to the end of the the curve so I'll be replacing this part I cut out earlier on I'll be replacing it back to the skirt so I'll just make sure it's aligning on this part that is joined I'll make sure it's aligning like so I'll align this part then I'll sew it by half an inch from this point I'll sew it to the end I'll do the same for the front so what I'll do I'll just pin it like so so I'll start sewing it from this point so after pinning it this is what it will look like let me turn it inside out so I'll just stitch it like so so I've gone ahead to stitch it and this is the final look as you can see it's already looking nice so for the front part that is the upper side I'll just join it by half an inch like so I'll do the same for the back I'll, I'll fix the darts for the back I'll just join the darts so I've gone ahead to join it. This is the skirt. I've fixed the darts for the skirt. I stitched the dart also. So I'll be placing it on the on the upper part. Like so. I'll make sure the two darts are aligning. So for the back, I've already gone ahead to join it with the upper part. That is the skirt and the top. I've joined it and I've fixed the darts and I made sure the darts are aligning. So now for the zip, I'll be using one inch to fix my zip. So sorry the fabric is stretchy, the, the chalk is not showing, but I'll be fixing the zip like so. The good side of the of the zip will be on top of the good side of the fabric. That is, you place it on the one inch. You place the zip on the one inch and sew it like so. So let me just pin it and show you what it looks like. So after pinning it, I'll just sew it like so. So this is how it will look when I sew it. So I'll flip it over, I'll flip it over to the other side of the dress like this and I'll turn it like so. So I'll place this midpoint of the zip on the one inch of the other side like so and I'll sew it like so. But I'll just pin this also before sewing it. So it will look like this when you sew it. So I've gone ahead to sew it. This is it. So make sure it's aligning on the waist. So I've gone ahead to fix the front and the back. And I've cut out facing for the neck. That's what I'll be using to turn the neck. Like so. I'll place it on top of each other, the good side facing each other, and I'll, I'll pin it and stitch it. So I'll be sewing it by quarter inch, like so. 
then I'll flip it over. I'll do that and do the back also. Like so. So I cut out two of the back facing I'll be using. So I'll place it from the point where the zip is like so. And I'll sew it by quarter inch. So I'll go ahead and sew it now. I'll do the same for the other side. As you can see, I've gone ahead to sew it. So I'll just sew the shoulder now. I'll sew the shoulder and show you. So this is it. I've sewn the front and the back together. That is the facing. So I'll be tacking it later on so that it doesn't shift. I'll be tacking it with hand needle. So now I'll be joining the front and the back together. I'll just take the measurement to be sure that my measurement is accurate. I'll retake the bust circumference. So the bust is 38. 38 divided by 2 will give us 19. So I have um, 2 inches extra. So I'll divide the 2 inches into 2. So I'll be left with 1 inch on both sides. So I'll place 1 inch on both sides. And on the waist, the waist is 31. 31 divided by 2 will give us 15.5. So when I check it like so, I have I have about 2 inches also. So I'll just divide it in into 2. So that is 1 inch on both sides. And on the hip, the hip is 41. 41 divided by 2 will give us 20.5. So when I check it, I have I also have two inches. So I'll just divide it and place it on the hip. So I'm taking one inch on both sides to the full length. As I'll, I'm sewing one inch to the full length. But before then, this side is very important. I'll have to tuck in the ruffles inside like so. I'll do the same for the back. I'll tuck it in so that I don't sew on top of the ruffles. So I'll, let me do it again. I'll tuck it in like so. Do the same for the front. Push it in and make sure that the waist is aligning. That is the back and the front waist after tucking it in. So I'll just sew it. I'll just align it together like so. And I'll sew it by one inch like this. And I'll do I'll do the same for the other side so I've gone ahead to stitch it this is what it looks like now so this is the part I told you about as you can see it's not affecting our ruffles so the ruffle is intact and the dress is already looking nice so what is remaining is our sleeve so I'll just go ahead and do the sleeve so this is the pattern for the sleeve. I already have video for how to draft a, a sleeve block. So I'll be making a cold shoulder on the sleeve. So I'll be come down by three inches. It depends on how low you want your cold shoulder to be. For this, I want it to start from three inch, three inches. So I'll just slant my tip and measure three point five, like so. I don't want it to be too open so I'll just take the 3.5 and connect it with my pattern master like so I'll curve it like this then I'll cut it out so this is how it is when you open it up so I've already Cut the sleeve on the fabric so i'll just place it on it like so and trace it out so i'll do the same for the second sleeve so now i'll, I'll be piping the i'll be piping the this part I'll be piping the curve with with another strip of fabric you can use a bias tape to do it but I want the fabric to be the same with the 
strip so i will just place it like so and sew it by quarter inch i'll make sure it's aligning like so then i'll flip it over and sew on top of it so i'll just go ahead and do that so i'll fix the sleeve as you can see i've piped it so i did the same on the shoulder i piped it with another strip i cut out i piped the shoulder too like i did for the sleeve like i said you can also use bias tape to pipe it so this is the dress we are done i've gone ahead to hem the full length i stitched it by one inch as you can see it came out really nice so for the ruffle i'll be i'll be weaving it later on so this is it on the mannequin we've come to the end of these tutorials i hope it was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching stay safe